in No gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up guys, Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. As you can see, I got the Magnum 380 hooked to the Great Plains drill. We're sitting here at field 72, and uh, getting ready to do some planting. I got it filled up with seeds and fertilizer. Um, I didn't think that this thing actually filled with fertilizer, but I guess it does. So let's see, we got it on, we got it ready to roll. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started on planting here. Let's get our door shut. And we're going to stay away from these trees a little bit here. I don't feel like uh, digging a header into the, some of these trees that are hanging over here. Or bushes, even. And I'm not doing the greatest job of planting here, but eh, I guess it don't got to be absolutely perfect. So we're putting down our spring wheat here. And we are putting down fertilizer as we go as well, so. Um, that is going to be a nice factor because that will help um, avoid having to do, I mean, that will save us one round of fertilizer. <coughs> so. That'll be one less round of fertilizer that we'll have to do. So this video, the frame rate might be a little bit shittier than normal just because of the fact that I have, um, yesterday's video is currently exporting out of the video editing software that I use. So, um, that's kind of why, so that's kind of killing things just a little bit but So hopefully it won't take us too terribly long to get this planted. Let's get flipped around here. And then we'll do some headland passes so we can just focus on going and doing our ups and downs passes here. Whoops.
I think we'll do four headland passes with the drill. Seeding is definitely another task that I don't really care for. Tillage and planting are kind of two things that I don't really care for doing, but I mean, you got to do them to be able to do harvest and anything like that, so. We'll go ahead and set our cruise control at 12, because that's the speed that we can run at with this drill, so. <clears throat> Actually, we might be able to get away with just doing three headland passes here. Yeah, we should be able to get away with just three. Then around this little area where the or the little pad for the where the bins and stuff are, we'll just do a second pass around that. That'll give us enough room to turn around there. Shouldn't have to do three in this spot. with my driving but I guess that'll happen I mean we are making pretty good time so far I don't like the way that they have that set up though like when this planter was in 15 the two outer this box and this box were both seeds and then the center I think was the fertilizer I didn't have it split in the boxes like it is now where it's you know half seed half fertilizer in each box I mean I guess that it makes sense but it just looks a little fuck funky this tree here I guess we could buy a seed tender Let's look here once at how much a seed tender would be. Let's see, it's in auger wagons. Probably get the modded one. Twenty grand. 
Um, I think we might actually do that. Let's see, and I think I have Gooseneck in that pickup. So we're going to go ahead and pick this up. And then we need to... Let's see. Just tab over to it. Yeah, I do have Gooseneck. Let's set this on shop-farm. Or wait, whoops. Farm to shop, I meant. And then we'll let that guy run down to the dealership and get that. Uh, seed tender. That way, once we run out of seed or fertilizer, we don't have to, you know, pick up from where we are and run back to the farm, back to the tanks to go fill. We can just bring that seed tender right over. <clears throat> And the nice thing too is that you can fill it with both seeds and fertilizer, so I mean, we won't have to worry about, you know, oh, we only can fill seeds with it or something, but not fertilizer. That's one thing that I really, really love that they added in 19. You know, like, for example, with our hopper trailer, let's say we got just a little bit of soybean left to sell, and then we you know then it's on to selling corn well let's say that the soybeans don't fill a trailer full they only fill the front half of a trailer or don't even fill the front half of a trailer well the back half of the trailer you could put corn in and you'll have two separate you know you have two separate fill planes which is something that's really really nice and really helpful to have in 19 you know it's definitely something that I wish they would have had in other games you know, something that I wish they would have had around for a while. But, I mean, they f did finally add it, so I guess that is a plus, but... <clears throat> I mean, I know people were making modded trailers in 17 that worked that way, I think. I think. I mean, don't quote me on that. I could be way the hell off. But... You know, that's, that's my guess, like I said. So once, oh, he's already at the dealership. tractor doesn't want to stop I definitely do not want him to keep driving okay so dealership 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 so dealerships down here right yes okay so there's the pickup then go ahead we'll pull him off of that course and we'll load him up on shop to farm Oh, that's a bummer. I can open the hood, but I can't open the tailgate on this one. Wait. Oh, yeah, I can. Perfect. There we go. Let's leave the tailgate down, because it's not going to hit this trailer or anything, so... Alright, so he is back to running. And it shut our tractor off. Wonderful. So, right here, I'm just going to go straight across. Make it a straight line here. So 
So once that pickup gets back to the farm, we'll get it filled up with seed and fertilizer. And then we'll go ahead and come fill our planter up. Because we are starting to get low. More so on the seed. It's using more seed than fertilizer. So... We need seed sooner than we need fertilizer, but I'm just going to fill them, be filling them both at the same time. I mean, if I run out of seed, but not fertilizer, I'm still going to fill the fertilizer, just so that way they're both. That way I'm never out of anything. Or I guess, not out of anything, but... So that way they're both always having something in there, so I'm not going until I run out of seed, stop, fill the seed... Okay, now I'm out of fertilizer, so now I gotta stop again. Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit and go back and forth that way, because that would just get to be a nuisance then. And maybe as we upgrade equipment too, we might need more room to s for storage. We got a nice little spot back here of uh, grass that we could use for putting stuff down at. So our pickup is back. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to get this thing set on our next pass here. Stop him, take him off. Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll get this thing filled up now. Let's just see if we can do it this way. And I'm not going to be able to do it that way, so we got to get it so that the auger is on that side, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So I guess we'll just put fertilizer up in the front half here. I mean, it's technically going on the ground, but oh well. That's fine. There we go. We got that one lined up a little bit better. <clears throat> okay. So now we got it filled up. Oops. Okay. Why are you not? Okay, so it's filling up the seeds. Oh, my 
my fertilizer. Exactly sure why. I filled my seeds just fine. I don't know why I won't fill my fertilizer. I don't know, we'll just leave it sit here for now. We'll see what happens once we run out of fertilizer. Maybe it'll be a different story. Once we've run out. It's hard to say. I guess we'll just see what happens. I'm starting to get low on juice. I mean, we could use ridge markers, but they're the biggest piece of shit in this game ever. I hate using them, because half the time they never work, or they're so far off that it's pointless to even be using them I just don't even use them anymore so let's see here I can't remember what I have it set to for how many rounds of fertilizer I guess maybe you can't control that. Nope, I guess not. I don't know, in uh, 17 you could control, you know, if you need to spray one time or if you need one round of fertilizer or three rounds to make it you know the crop be its full potential so I guess I wasn't sure if that's something that was in this as well or not can't really go in cab on this would help if ridge markers actually worked and stuff but so this drill is gonna get to plant this field and field 24 and then it gets to go get cleaned up and put back in the shed because our other planter is what will be planting everything else a, de a bigger grain drill is definitely something that I want as well maybe looking at getting an air seeder next year because um, I mean, for the smaller fields, this thing will be fine. Which, I mean, if we continue running smaller fields, or, you know, like when we upgrade machinery and upgrade to more fields, bigger fields, that kind of thing, if we keep running some of these small fields, might even just look at keeping around, keeping like this drill around and our, you know, current disc around and stuff, just for taking care of those smaller fields, because some of the bigger equipment might be you know a little bit on the big side to where it'd be kind of overkill to have it in that field or something maybe I guess it'll just kind of depend on what we upgrade to 
to be honest. That's kind of gonna kind of gonna be our biggest factor there. We still are half full on our we're over half full on fertilizer, so we might be able to even just plant the whole field before we have to go get more fertilizer. Seeds were already down to 80% and we haven't even gone super far. I mean, this thing isn't doing too bad. We're not doing too horrible for the amount of time to plant this field. I mean, for the size farm that we're running right now, I mean, we're not even running... Geez, we're running, I'll bring up my notes here once and see what, because I mean we're not even running like 100 acres I don't think, because we've got 18, oops, I should probably focus on turning around first before I start looking, figuring this all out in my head here. So we've got 18 acres, another 5 that's 23 plus 2 25 plus another 2 27 plus another 4 that's 31 plus another 4 <coughs> that's 35 uh, plus another 4 now we're sitting at 39 plus another 17 that's 39 and 17 that'd be 46, 56, so we're running about 56, 57 acres, because I mean there's, you know, our fields are, they're, you know, four and a half acres, four and a quarter, that kind of stuff, so I mean we're running probably 56, 57 acres, maybe even 58, I mean I could add everything up and figure out exactly but I mean we're not running a whole lot for acreage right now so the size of equipment that we're running is about perfect for what we're running for acreage just because we're not running a whole lot I'd say we're about about half done with this field I mean once you get your headlands knocked out you know, get your end rows done and get everything set up. It does go fairly fast, but it's those setting up those end rows so you got room to turn around. That's what kind of takes time. That's what takes the most time, I should say. This is definitely when having a GPS mod would be nice. But why I can't get mine open, I have no idea. Actually, it could be... I could look in here. It might be in the controls. Maybe I'm hitting the wrong button. Change IC state space. Speed control to PUD. Speed player. It's all quick camera. Uh, 
Okay, guidance steering. Toggle guidance steering, left alt C. The menu is left control S. So let's go left control S. Nope, I don't do nothing. I mean, if I hit left alt C, it enables it, but I can't get the menu to come up, so. So I don't know, so I can't even like set, you know, working with, set my line, nothing. Can't really do anything with it, so I guess it is what it is. So I can almost see the edge. I mean, we're getting there. We're definitely getting closer and closer. So then tomorrow, in the tomorrow's video, We'll get field 24 planted. <laughs> Delighted plants. Okay. I suppose that that's putting the fertilizer down. But, um. Yeah, tomorrow we'll get field 24 planted. And then after we've finished that, we're going to fast forward a day. And we're going to cultivate our three fields where our soybeans are going to be going because those are our last three fields to cultivate and we'll get that done and then probably hmm, I think we'll cultivate those and then spray the wheat spray one round of herbicide on the wheat ground and then Probably fast forward another day, plant our soybeans. Fast forward another day, plant our corn. And then... After we plant our corn, probably do another round of herbicide. So I do have weeds on, right? No, I have them all. Oh, no, they are on. What? What? Oh. Okay. But, so yeah, then we'll... Once we get the corn in the ground, we'll probably put another round of herbicide on the wheat. And then... Um... Then it'll be about time to harvest. I guess once we do our second round. Well, no. Once we've gotten to the point where the wheat's ready to combine, then we'll spray our corn and bean ground. And then we'll get harvest done. We'll fast forward a couple days, put down another round of herbicide for that. And then it'll be fall. And be time to start combining our corn and beans. So hopefully we should be able to take care of our weeds, keep them under control. I'm hoping. I'd rather not have weeds. Because I want to get as much crop out of these fields as I can. Especially on our first year. We want to try and get as much crop as we can so we can make as much profit as we can. That way we got money for next year. Uh, for seed and fertilizer fuel costs running costs maintenance and I want to have money so that way we can upgrade some stuff or that or else I don't know I guess you guys decide uh, next year should we look into upgrading equipment first or should we look at adding in equipment for running cattle first because we could uh, upgrade to, or not upgrade, but we could 
We could uh, buy equipment so we can run cattle as well. I mean, we'll have to add a lot of equipment to our fleet then because we'll need something to mow, mow hay, something to rake it, something to bale it, something to move the bales with, something to feed with. And then we're also going to need to have extra grain so that way we can use that to feed our cows as well. We're going to need something to give them water with. Um, I mean, we'll need... Probably just get a bale wrapper, I suppose. Because I don't really want to have to buy... I mean, I guess we could buy... Uh, we could pick up another field or two to chop corn in. Or we could just use... Uh, we can mow hay for silage as well that would work I don't know we can see when that time comes I guess we still have uh, a while until next year so we still have a lot of work to get done between now and next year before we need to start worrying about any of that so Our drill is definitely dirty. It's a lot dirtier than our tractor is even. In our tractor, it's mostly the wheels that are dirty. So I guess it's going to be a test here to see if we have enough seed and fertilizer left in this drill to make it to cover the rest of this field. I mean, we don't have a whole lot left. We're just about done. So I guess we'll just kind of have to see here. If we're going to have enough left. Because like I said, we are just about done. I think we're, if anything, going to have to refill with seed first. But we'll see, I guess. See how it plays out here. going to be close, but I don't know that we'll make it. I don't think we will. We're going to get close, but not close enough. Fertilizer, I think we can do it. But seeds, we're going to be... I think we're going to run out. So we were at 15% when we started this pass, and now we're at 12 eleven percent so we're using four percent of our seeds per pass so I, yeah we're definitely not gonna make it I think we have another pass worth of seed left and then I think we're gonna have to refill which we're so close fertilizer will be able to do it though Fertilizer, we will have enough to finish this field off. That part's for sure. But our seeds were not, unfortunately. 
I was hoping that we'd have enough left that we could just finish this off. Not have to bring that truck back over, but... Sadly, we don't. I'd say we got about three passes left, and then we'll be done with this field. And then we'll be able to call her a video. Call her a day. We're going to just run it just about out. We're going to see how far we can stretch this. Might even be able to cover the rest of this field in one pass. She's going to be close. She's going to be close. Damn. So close that it's irritating. Alright, we're going to turn around, then we'll stop and we'll get it filled up. Because we are pretty much empty. So I want to see here if we can get the fertilizer to fill now. So if I hit the first. Oh shit. Didn't know I can adjust that. So if I hit O once. It's on our fertilizer. So we're set on fertilizer, so it should fill our fertilizer. That's not going to set it to seeds and it'll fill it just fine. So I don't know what the deal is. I guess when it comes to fertilizer, we'll just have to go back to the tank to fill. So then I wonder if we can just do this. Let's just dump this off out here. We're just going to dump this off in the trees. Because the fertilizer is not going to do us any good, so. I mean, I guess I didn't think that through. Could have left it uh, in there for our other planter, but. Oh, well. I guess we could have. Probably should have. I guess we should probably put fertilizer back in there. I didn't think about that. And we should probably have fertilizer for our other planter. Because it might work for the other one. If it don't work for the other one, then I will go dump that for this fertilizer in that spot too. And whatever. Do with that. But... Okay, let's go ahead, get this pass done, get this finished up, get out of here. This is our last pass of this field. Alright, and that's it. We got that field done. We are officially one field in. So we'll go ahead and we'll get her folded up. Perfect. Perfect. 
Alright, so what I'm going to do between this video and the next one is I'm going to go and I'm going to get the fertilizer filled up and I'll get this tractor over to field 24 and get it ready to rock. So that way once we get back to the next video we have a fully filled planter and we are at our next field and we're ready to plant. So that's going to do it for today guys. If you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel. Welcome to the channel. Make sure to subscribe if you like what you see. And as always guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.